radio, we dare to lead. Let's get the show on the road. <laughs> All right, everybody, good morning and welcome to the Spurs Buffet on Elegbeta TV. My name is A. Elegbeta TV Radio. Sorry, my name is Idafi Matthew. You're going to love to call me the Elegbeta One of Sports. It's such an amazing time. It's Friday. Today is the day we decide who is the next president of the Nigerian Football Federation. Federation de Football de Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, you want to call it my French people and my Nigerian people and everyone are there. Uh, this is the day we decide who takes over the realms of affair. Okay, I would just hope that uh, the best man wins, and whoever wins, the rest of the party supports the person because it's not just enough for one person to win, but would he get the support that he need from the Nigerians, the government, and everybody? And we do hope that uh, they make Nigerian football attractive enough, and we hope that we don't end it with a lot of court cases and troubles and violence and the rest of them and then at the end of the day we come at tops in uh, the matters that is on ground that's what is very very important to me uh i might have my candidate you might have your candidate but at the you know the long run one thing that is certain is we should good morning johnny if i see you uh thank you for always being there for us and for always supporting us we should be able to think of the game itself rather than personal interest there have been so much uh personal interests that have also broken the progress of football, truncated the progress of football due to the personal greed, individual greed of people or group of people. And let's just hope that this work well and everybody is, uh, you know, situated in their mental place to work for Nigerian football, to help Nigerian football get better rather than, you know, pursue their own greed. People should focus on the football ecosystem, how can we make it better? If I am not there, but I have a suggestion that can make it grow, I should be willing to suggest it without holding back, without saying, ah, no, not be me, oh, I cannot give them, I cannot help them. No, let's not be that kind of people. Let's be the kind of people that thinks for the common good, the common interest of the system. I'm not alone in the studio today. I am here with uh, Benedict. Aki Benedict is here having fun with me as well. Benedict, I hope you are, you are good. Okay, and uh, we can go. So, good morning to you, Benedict. Let's start with you first. Good morning. Good morning to you, Mr. Idafi. How are you doing today? I'm okay. I'm okay. As uh, everybody on your end, your family. Yeah, I'm okay, okay, fine, fine. I'm happy. I'm so happy to be here. Yesterday was a tragic day. Then I'm um, tragic. Who died? Um, tragic. Um, tragic doesn't always come to me as dead. But um, for me, the biggest question. It wasn't tragic. It was just sad. Okay, the biggest question for you, was... but it was good for me. <laughs> The biggest question for me to you this morning is what do you think about Akwa Ibom's new stadium? stadium? Uh, also, I think the stadium is good. The stadium is good, but like I always say that if there is no economic plan built around the stadium, I think it's a waste of government money. Well, that's coming to what I have about the World Cup today, coming to the week generally. Okay, but so we do know that. But hold on, hold on, let me say something. They have the Uyo Stadium that consumes 200 million every month, but does not, I've never brought back up to a millionaire at any given time. That's a waste of government resources. That 200, the whole money they spend, the billions they spend in building that stadium, as beautiful as it is, would create more employment, would create more jobs. If they, for instance, create a fabrication yard, a fabrication facility, or a boat maintenance facility, we use a very big river. If they create a boat maintenance facilities, and as the governors, they all travel out, they go out there and go and speak to you know, people guarantee, but then again, you have to guarantee security because nobody's going to bring their boat here uh, when they feel like somebody will come and kidnap them. But I just think if we build stadium, we should also wrap around it uh, economic benefit. You got something to say? No, 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 I don't. But we do know that other teams can actually rent the stadium 
as it is right now. So it's, it's kind of a benefit, a win win situation for them. I don't see any team renting the stadium where it is situated. That's one. Two, uh, the Nigerian football have not risen to the point where a club can afford to rent a stadium and then pack it full. One thing is to have a stadium, another thing is to have the fans that will pay and fill up the stadium. But Super Eagles play in Uyo, we throw the gate open wide for free. Super Eagles is like the biggest football brand in Nigeria, prob probably the West Coast of Africa. Yeah, some African countries will not be happy with me, but it is. And we are unable to fill a stadium, paying uh, fans that are paying for for matches. So which club? Where's, where's the club? In this part of the, the country, the south part of the country, people don't pay money to watch football. If it is in Kano, maybe. But that, that, I don't think so. But, I mean, good that they have the stadium. But I think it will go more rebound eventually. It will not really turn out to... Uh, what's the use of buying a car that you cannot use? What's the use of building a house that you will not live in and you will not be able to rent to make money? You, you will not be able to Airbnb to make money from it. It's just that. It's just lying fallow and then it become a ghost house. That's what the stadium is going to be eventually. But let's keep our fingers crossed and see miracles do happen. And facilities might eventually wake up and, you know, wake up as a community. But football in Uyo is not really aligned as maybe like in Lagos where you have grassroots team, a whole lot. That place is going to be locked up and it's going to be used for more political rallies than it will be used for anything. That's the same stadium that Vendres are requested to build and they kick them out of the, the state because according to political advisors of the governor, this man built this stadium and run this club. It will become popular. Eventually, it will set a political party and it will win election. So you don't want that to happen. Uh, blah, 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 blah myopic you know individual thinking well let's move on well back to you back to you okay Don't so, until it's my turn again. so uh guys uh let's uh, take the show the way we normally would take it so it's friday and you know how friday is anything and everything goes so you can throw up any question even the benedict you have the opportunity to drop any questions but i'm going to ask you uh some world cup questions as well what you've got for me researching the world cup and all that is there any something something that we know but we've taken for granted or we've forgotten or something that happened in the world cup that you can we you can just remind us of we'll get to that one but let's focus on the headlines that we have today crucial day for nigerian football as nfm elective congress 2022 holds today in benin city 